stage wonderer coming at you from my van down by the river. And if you don't agree with me, I have one thing to say to you. You're crazy. That's right. You're crazy. You're certifiable. You're loony. You need to go and get under a doctor's care. You should get on your medication. If you disagree with me, the only one explanation why you might disagree with me could possibly be that I might be wrong. It has to be that you're crazy. Well, that seems to be the new theme in the world today. Am I wrong? Donald Trump, we don't like the way you handled this or that, so you must be crazy. And you got 25 people coming on diagnosing him, supposed doctors diagnosing him and saying he's crazy based on his tweets. Now they're doing it to Kanye West. Oh, yeah. He came out and spouted some truther, uh, uh, you know, speech, you know, come out with some, with some real talk. He made people scratch their head and think. Instead of thinking, they went, you're crazy. <laughs> they actually had Dr. Phil come on national television last night and say, well, I, sh I you know, I'm not officially diagnosing him because I'm not allowed to do that. But actually, I'm going to go ahead and diagnose him. He's crazy. He should be on his medication. Yeah. If you disagree with me, you should be medicated. We're slipping slowly but surely into a totalitarian state. Where nowadays people have three choices. If you don't agree with, with them, you know, if, if you say something they're opposed to, then either you're crazy or you're a liar or you're a Nazi. That this is part of this assault on the First Amendment. Just because I don't agree with you doesn't mean I'm crazy. Just because I say things that you won't take the time to understand doesn't mean I'm crazy. Just because I hold a different opinion than you do certainly doesn't mean I'm crazy. And I take a, a offense to that. This may be one of the most totalitarian, offensive, aggressive, and demonic things that's come along in a while for me. This new belief that a person is not allowed to speak their mind. And if they say something that you don't agree with, they must be crazy. This thing where doctors say, well, I'm not supposed to diagnose you, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. You know, I, you know, you're not my patient, but from here it looks like you're crazy. You know, this thing where he went into rehab for taking two opioid pills and came out taking seven mood-altering drugs after being under these doctors' care. These same doctors who drug up these boys who go out and commit mass murder. That he's trying to, Kanye's trying to tell you people some truth out there, all of you people, people of every color. You know, that they're trying to drug us all. That if you got an alternative opinion, then they'd say you're crazy. If you're unhappy in your life, oh, don't do anything about it. Take this pill because you're crazy or you'd be happy with the state of affairs. No, you know what? Life is filled with unhappiness. It's what motivates us to do something about it. And to, and to make positive changes. That there's this spirit of suppression, of demonic suppression that's oozing over the planet right now. And it's just mind-boggling to me. <sighs> I just didn't think it was possible for it to get this weird, to get this bad. That now, if you say something people don't like, they go into your medicine cabinet and go, Here, take these. The doctor said you should. Doctors work for big pharmacy. They're drug pushers. There, I said it. I don't go to them. I don't got nothing to do with them. I'm not asking for their help. I'm a busted up old man and that's how I'm going to live and I'm going to live and be fine with it. I'd rather do that than, uh, you know, let these mad scientists at me. And these awful drugs that enslave people. You know what? I'm not crazy. You're all crazy because you're all the ones on the drugs. Just say no to big pharmacy. That's the moral of this story. But I got to tell you, this shutting down people's ideologies and calling them crazy because they have an opinion is demonic and I won't stand for it. And if I was a lesser man, I'd fly the bird right now. But uh, I'll just, I'll sound like, a, here, I'm going to do my best to sound like a Southern Baptist 
who's really upset. Y'all can just kiss my foot. 